Hey everyone, welcome back. Weston Summers here again, and today I'm going to show you how to make a fuel tablet. These are great for taking with you when you go camping, throwing them in a little fuel uh, film canister, or anything like that. When you're going to head out into the woods and you need something a little bit better than just the average cotton ball that burns away. Now you can cover these in Vaseline or petroleum jelly, whatever you want to call it, and they seem to burn a little quick away. But if you have some that are wax coated, they seem to last a lot longer and get a good flyer going. So I'm going to show you how to make one. So first off, you could make one with the entire cotton ball, but for this demonstration purposes, I'm going to make one that's that big. So you'll need a cotton ball, something that it won't burn onto or mess up if it gets wax on. You'll need some water to douse it in when you, if you want to do it quickly. You will need some type of used candle. This is just a used dinner candle and a lighter. So we're going to light this up. We want our um, cotton ball. I usually find it does better to get as thin as possible. And when you got it here, making a flat area, we're going to take our candle and we are going to drip as much wax as you can possibly get it to hold. Now, since it's liquid paraffin, you know, your solid paraffin doesn't burn. Only the liquid paraffin that goes up in the wick burns. It doesn't go break down. It doesn't evaporate. It doesn't get messy. It doesn't do anything like that. And in just a few seconds, after you drip these together, you can make a lot bigger ones if you want. You can have several fuel tablets you can throw in and will burn for several minutes. So I'm going to stop right there. And I got wax on the table, so that's great. But here's what we're looking at. It just looks something like this. You can cover it the whole way. When you get done with it and you want to throw it in there, the wax is still hot. You can see how it soaks all the way through the back side. And you can just douse it in the water to cool the wax down. Now, when you get done with it, this is what you have. You can make them square. You can even take a pair of scissors, and if you mash them out flat, they're still warm. If you mash them out flat, you can trim them to size if you want to. It'll just cut right, just as pretty as can be. Now, that one's still warm, and we want to demonstrate one now. Here's a little bit bigger one I made. I just doused it in water. I flattened it out. Now, the way you want to use these is you want to kind of break them. They're hard as a rock. And when you break them, you're looking for some small area like that where it can burn. Now, here's a normal cotton ball. Let's tear a small piece off right here. That looks about to be the same size condensed. And I'm going to light this cotton area right here. So, just one go and it's gone like that. I mean, that's the end of it. It lasts maybe four or five seconds. But on this wax coated thing, if I pull this under here where we can get a good view on it, get it going. And when you get it going here, it will continue to burn. Looks like I missed it that time. It will continue to burn for several minutes. Here's some that I've already burned. And just to show you that they light right back up, even on the bad side, you get them hot, it melts the wax, the wax will vaporize, and there they are burning again. Now, I can douse it. I can shake it off. I'll dab it on this rag over here, and I will light it just again. It smokes a little bit because of the water, but there it was burning. Now, these are great for when you're camping or anything, and you can throw several of them into your backpack or into a little flat Altoids can, and you don't have to worry about the wax or the petroleum jelly getting everywhere. So, that's a quick way using some scrap candles or wax that you can make some fire starters to get you out of the woods or get you a good fire going when you're headed out there. So, maybe that's a good tip. If not, hit me with all your comments. We'll come up with another way to make them so they last longer. Thank you very much. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Weston Summers out. You'll have a good one.